Hey, Chris. This is Dr. D. Dupe. How are you doing? Uh, Chris, I just wanted to call you back. We spoke a little while ago about um, you trying to give me some help with a uh, video to help explain what dedupe is. Uh-huh. Hmm. Laughed at you, huh? Uh-huh. Hmm. When hell freezes over? Well, at least there's some chance. Uh, how about next quarter, maybe? Call you again? Okay. All right, well, thanks for trying anyways, Chris. Okay, bye. Uh, I don't know why we even have a marketing group. It's up to me. How can I show you using common household items? I've got an idea. Stay there. I think this might work. Well, Dr. Dedupe loves his yogurt. And to eat yogurt, you need a spoon. And I have a spoon. I've also got a second spoon. Now, I don't really need two spoons to eat yogurt. So I can actually combine these spoons together. And they take up the same space as one spoon. But actually, I have two spoons here. And like I said, Dr. D. Duke loves his yogurt. Mmm. That is good yogurt. But suppose Dr. D. Duke's friend comes over and he loves yogurt too. Well, I've got my D. Duke spoons. I can undedupe them and share my yogurt with a friend. That essentially is what D. Duke is although slightly less gross than that. When we dedupe data, we find two identical pieces of data, we combine them into one, but we still let people retrieve both objects, just like these two spoons. You can combine them together to store them, you can separate them to use them. That, in essence, is what dedupe is. And remember, when you think dedupe, think NetApp. Thank you. This is Dr. Dedupe.